What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I was thinking about this video in my head, uh, uh, another commentary style video, and talking about the differences, well, what I've noticed in WWE of, over the past few years, which I actually do appreciate. There was a time um, that we would see a lot of championships, you know, or title reigns not last that long. They, the championships would usually flop between people every couple of months or not even that. Sometimes it would be a couple of weeks, you know, or maybe a, a couple of days. And it, to me, it always kind of cheapened the value of those championships because they're flip flopping between people title reigns not lasting that long having that longevity to make that championship seem that much more prestigious and it was a noticeable thing but it's cool to see as of recently titles have been held by people for quite some time they usually keep them on the individual for a decent amount of time and i i think that's pretty cool i think it gives that longevity to the championship it makes it seem that more important so we're gonna check out the recent title reigns is on wwe's network or well, uh, wwe um their uh website we're gonna check out the recent title reigns or whatnot and where they are now um like just in length and really really being able to appreciate how long these title reigns have been in in the sense of how it's making that belt seem that more prestigious so let's start with it so we got roman reigns the universal champion he has held the championship for 953 days as of me filming this um that is an incredible feat i think he's obviously gonna hold it to at least a thousand days and beyond and then maybe he'll end up dropping it but we could definitely say even if some people feel like the title reign has been too long we will probably never see this again in our lifetime again a thousand days potentially as champion as a universal champion he'll go down as the greatest universal champion of all time that championship has been tainted with horrible title reigns at one point it was held hostage by brock now it's held hostage by roman reigns i remember when it was initially created people didn't like it they was like yo what the hell this what is this raspberry belt now the blueberry belt is uh probably the most prestigious championship they have you know just off of days alone so i will say this he has made the blueberry championship that much credible in this amazing title reign so gotta give kudos to wwe for making that happen because in my opinion it was one of the it just the people that held it and it, it, it just didn't really have that prestige like it should have great people have held it but at the same time it's just i think the design and and what was happening with the belt and you know it it, it, it wasn't hitting like it is now now he has been the wwe champion for 372 days this is a uh, on another amazing feat and he's probably gonna have it for over 400 days which is crazy to even think about um but i think most people talk about just the universal championship title reign but people forget he's held it for for over a year just the wwe championship itself we know the lineage of the wwe championship is you know it the people that's held it as well so that is a a pretty interesting fact and i do appreciate that you know these championships are gaining that prestige in roman reigns holding them you know what i'm saying and uh it's gonna be interesting to see who will be the next person to hold these illustrious belts now this one i i wish wwe talked about more wwe definitely needs to talk about this more uh the intercontinental championship being held by gunther for 304 days this is supposed to be the workhorse championship he has had it for almost a year that is fantastic it is good to be able to say the intercontinental championship is being spotlighted like it should be the workhorse championship i love it i am so happy that he has held it this long and i hope he continues to hold it until maybe somebody else is able to dethrone him i don't think it's it's his time to the, get the throne yet but 304 days as the intercontinental champion that is pretty impressive and he may end up becoming the longest reigning intercontinental champion and i don't think anybody will have a problem with it i i hope they do this trend with walter whenever he wins a championship he holds it for a very long time we saw it with the uk 
uh, championship. Now we're seeing it with the Intercontinental Championship. Whenever, well, the NXT UK Championship, he held it for a long time. And here uh, with uh, the uh, Intercontinental Championship, he's holding it for a long time. So whatever championship he gets his hands on, he doesn't let go. That needs to be part of his mystique, his, uh, I'm, I wouldn't even say gimmick, just part of his persona. Whenever I get a title, just know I'm going to hold it for a very long time. Let's go to the next one. United States champion, Austin Theory. Sold it for 135 days. Doesn't even seem like it, but I can appreciate that. Once again, I'm all for people holding championships for a long time. If it makes sense and if the title reign is, you know, is 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 worthy of that, that length. And once again, flip-flopping championships, not a big fan of, but... If you got someone that's holding it, giving it prestigious, putting on good matches, I'm all for it. I do see at some point maybe Austin Theory dropping it, maybe before he gets to, I don't know if he's going to hold it for, you know, uh, a whole year, but I do think at some point he'll probably drop it this year. He may get over 200 days, maybe close to 300, not sure. We will see, but I am all for him having a, a United States championship as of right now. Now we're going to get to the Raw Women's Champion, uh, Bianca Belair, holding it for 373 days. That is amazing. I love to see it. I'm happy Bianca Belair is, has held the championship for this long. Um, it's always cool to see a black uh, wrestler holding a championship and having a long, lengthy championship reign. I can appreciate it. The question is, will it end potentially at Backlash? I don't know. We will see how things play out with that. I thought it was going to end at WrestleMania, but they definitely let her hold it a little bit longer. And she's been a, a good champion. Uh, I think she's had some pretty great matches. There's been some matches that haven't really lived up. But I think she's been a solid Raw Women's Champion. So I'm okay with her holding the title for that long. All right, let's go to the next one. Now... <laughs> Rhea has only held it for nine days, but that's okay. That's okay. I hope they let Rhea hold this championship for a very long time as well. She is one of the best women in WWE right now. A lot of fans love her, and I think it just makes sense if they have her hold the championship. If they don't, you, after the draft, unify the divisions or whatnot, have her hold the championship for you know a very a decent amount of time. It's just going to really come down to who they book to face her. And how they're going to stretch out her title reign. But I do think she could be someone that definitely holds the title for at least, at least potentially 200 days. I, I hope they don't give her a short reign. I don't think she deserves that. She's doing some of the best work in, uh, in WWE on the main roster. So give her a lengthy title reign. See where it goes. She may end up even turning babyface because of this. But we will see at some point. Hopefully they can give her some good opponents where it makes sense to stretch it out you know we will see but right now nine days but i think she should be fine i think they're gonna keep the belt on her for a while and let's go to obviously the tag team champs kevin Owens, and sammy zane nine days but we gotta talk about we gotta talk about hold on let's see if it shows up because it should give me the option of showing it i'm not sure uh, I'm trying to show. There we go. 622 days, bro. <laughs> Look at that. 622 days. And I think that's uh, on the, the SmackDown side of things, which is crazy. On the Raw side of things, it is. Uh, let me check. On the Raw Tag Team Championships, it's 483 days. And I want to say that was um, uh, the New Day. And then on the SmackDown side of things, was it the New Day? I don't know. I'm not even sure. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. We're doing this live. Yeah, it was the New Day. August 23rd, 2015 through December uh, 18, 2016. 483 days. So they were the longest reigning Raw uh, Tag Team Champions. 483 days. And right um, then the Usos was the the longest reigning uh, SmackDown 
tag team champs from july 18th of 2021 all the way to april 2nd 2023 622 days that's incredible to say for the tag team division i do think they need to merge the tag team division um that way there's only one set of belts because the tag team division is not that big on both brands so if they merge the divisions i think that would be the best way to go uh we'll see if they do that at the draft and we'll see how long kevin owens and Sami Zayn's title reign lasts but i do appreciate the fact that <laughs> the usos ha did hold them for that long and they were put on some pretty good matches so i can't complain about that once again, if the top, and it made sense for them to hold the belts as long because they're part of the bloodline. Bloodline has all the gold, so it only makes sense for them to hold the championships that long until it's time for them to lose. And uh, once again, they were putting on some pretty good matches. A few times you thought they were going to lose, but ultimately they didn't. Now, this belt right here shouldn't even be a thing, honestly. <laughs> uh, Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan has held it for 16 hours to see the longest reigning champs um the longest reigning is where's the, someone said it's 100 it says 100 uh the kabuki warriors wow did not know that <laughs> october 2019 october 6 2019 to april 4 2020 180 days did not even know that was a thing and then damage control coming in at 114 days uh queen Zelina and carmella 131 days i didn't even know this this is insane they need to get rid of this <laughs> they don't even have really in my opinion i do the, i think they have a decent amount of women but they would have to bring up some more women from nxt and maybe somewhere else to really solidify a tag a women's tag team division that's just my personal opinion i i know triple h wants to you know he brought it brought the titles back uh for that very reason or wanted to do something with them and i can appreciate that but at the same time i just feel like that honestly in my opinion honestly i just feel like they they needed to you know get get rid of the tag the women tag team uh uh championships because it's just it's not that it's not enough women they're they're literally making up teams and it's like all right cool now you have two women that are in teams but what about the other women you don't have enough women in the division on both raw and smackdown to really you know saying have that solid you know tag team division what works with the men's is there's enough men on the roster where if there's a group of if you can at least find a eight maybe ten people on the roster that's not really doing nothing maybe make a tag team or people that come in as tag teams and work with them and in this situation I, it's 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 not that many acting women on both raw and smackdown that makes sense and then when you put them in a tag team have some tag team mini tag team division now you cut down the roster even more so when it comes to the singles, like who's going to face Bianca, who's going to face Rhea for those titles, you get a whole bunch of rematches. So I do think they need to get rid of it, but I doubt they do it anytime soon. But it is it's interesting to see um, where they go with this, how long they will hold the championships. I do think they're going to be transitional champions, because I believe they're going to end up facing Ronda and... Uh, and um, uh, Ronda and Shayna Baszler, I believe, at Backlash for those titles. And I think Ronda and Shayna is going to win. So I think they're going to be transitional champs. And I don't know, maybe they'll hold the championships for a long time. Who knows? That's just, uh, it's just one of those type of things where it's like, uh, all right, uh, we'll, we'll see. But it, the division, not many people are really too much caring about the women's tag team division in WWE right now. So, but that's about it for the main roster titles. I'm not about to check out the 24 seven because it's in the trash can where it belongs and all the other titles. Uh, that's pretty much it for the main roster uh, titles, man. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know, check this out with you guys. Cause I, I, once again, I have noticed as of late championships seem to stay on a particular wrestler much longer than what they used to be back in the day and i me personally i appreciate it i know some people can get tired of it but i love long lengthy title reigns that at least show the person you know adding a little bit more prestige to that said title so comment down below let me know do you guys prefer the long lengthy title reigns or do you guys prefer titles being held for maybe a few months 
and then switching to somebody else let me know down below your preference on how uh, a title range should be depending you know which one you prefer the long ones the long lengthy ones or the the shorter uh, shorter title range man but i appreciate all the love and support you guys are shown on the channel road to 150k i am still your undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace